Hi, welcome to Plus This. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Calendly connection. So Calendly is a really popular and really cool tool that we use a lot for uh, scheduling people for demos and being able to schedule like consultations and that kind of thing. Essentially people can go ahead and see your calendar, they can pick a date, and then they can put a time on your calendar for your demo, your consultation, whatever it might be. Uh, and what's really cool is when they fill out this information, normally you don't capture that in active campaign to be able to send them their follow-up, but with Plusis we can start making that happen and we can put them into an automation in active campaign. They can be added as a contact, we can apply tags, we can know, cool, this person scheduled for a demo. Let's go ahead and send them their reminder emails from active campaign now. We can start merging in when their date time or like when that appointment will be scheduled or when it will occur. And we can give them more details. We can control when these go out, how these look. Um, we can add any other automation elements uh, because we're now using active campaign to send this. So we can put in like our countdown timers. We can do SMS messages, a whole lot of other flexible things. Uh, when before you're normally just stuck with whatever you can do with Calendly. So this is a really popular tool if you ever want to kind of take things from Calendly, put them into Active Campaign, and then use Active Campaign to really drive people to your demos and eventually know who attended them, who missed them, uh, who's rescheduled, and who's canceled, and do different follow-up based on all of that kind of stuff. So today on the demo, we're going to mostly focus on the first part of just getting people in who have signed up through Calendly and then how to send your initial emails with that information merged in. And then once you got the hang of that, you can set up as much flexible uh, automation as you want for like cancels, missed, all that kind of things. When it comes to attending and missing these demos, that really kind of relies on where you're hosting those demos or consultations. If you're using a tool like Zoom Meeting or uh, GoToMeeting, we have integrations with Plusys for all of those things to handle tagging people automatically when they attend or miss those meetings as well. So go ahead and check out those tools if that's something you're interested in too. So anyway, now that we've kind of gone through this little automation, let's go back to plus this and a lot of this will start making perfect sense. So here I am in the Calendly connection with Active Campaign. Here I can pick which call I want to kind of set up this automation for. I'm just going to pick one of these for now. Um, down here is probably the next area I would recommend turning on. And this is, to make, this is a way to make it so when people fill out your forms for a demo or consultation with Calendly, they're going to actually get put into Active Campaign, and we can store like their first name, last name, what other fields you're gathering on that specific form. So that's really handy to do, so I recommend turning that on. And then we'll do the next section for what happens when people register. So we're going to store the date when someone registers, and so we'll go ahead and use this field for that. So when someone registers, we're going to store that in a field in the active campaign. And then I'm going to use this human version so I can take that field and now I can make it look something more human friendly like this in my actual emails that I send out from active campaign. So let's store that in a field too. Um, let's store the calculate human date and then um, let's do the last thing here and let's go ahead and apply a tag. So there's some other options you can do here, but for the most part, I'm just focusing on these main things here for what the majority of people use when they set up this tool. So let's apply a tag when someone joins this uh, demo. So let's do Calendly start. Cool. So I make the tag for that. And then I, that is pretty much all I'm going to need to do. So these are our other options. If you want to go ahead later on and add something for what happens when people reschedule, you can keep the defaults on with Calendly if you don't want to worry about that. But if you want more control over it, go ahead and turn this on and start uh, capturing whatever fields you want for that. Trigger whatever automations you want in your automations and active campaign as well. Same thing for the cancels. Um, all these, if you've gone through this part, you'll understand the next parts down here too. So in order to keep this video shorter, we're just gonna go ahead and give this a name. 
call it Calendly demo, and we'll save. And that is your implementation. So just really quickly, I'm gonna hop back over to Active Campaign to just review some of the steps here. So here's that tag that we set up in plus this. All right, so we're looking at plus this here, and this is that tag I'm talking about for what you'll use to start this automation when someone fills out a demo. And then down here, um, in your reminder emails, you'll be able to go ahead and merge in that human field from what you use in plus this. So where you have this, Calendly store human date, that is our, where we want to, use, what field we want to use down here. So if you just go to personalize, you can look down for your Calendly start human date. And then go ahead and pick that one as the one that you'll use uh, for the actual uh, merge field here. So Calendly start pre-field, um, for example, with this one. And that is it. So here is a simple little example of how to set up a Calendly connection with Active Campaign. If you have any other questions, go ahead and check out our tool information over here. We have more information like tips, FAQs, our about section, config, so you can get details on every little section in here. Uh, and then we have some additional stuff on our knowledge base if you ever wanna check that out, where you can see detailed setup guides and things like that. If you get stuck or have any questions you wanna to talk to a human about, we totally understand. The best way to reach us is to send an email to help at plusthis.com. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, bye.